to balance this equation, we have P4 plus H2. It combines to form this pH3. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have four phosphorus atoms and two hydrogen. On the product, just one phosphorus there and three hydrogens. Probably the best thing to do is let's just balance the phosphorus atoms and see what happens. If we put a four here, we have one times four. That would give us four phosphorus atoms and those would be balanced. Then this three times the four, this four goes to everything here, three times four, that would give us 12, which is kind of nice because now it's an even number before we had this odd number. Now, since it's even, all we need to do is get 12 hydrogens here. If we put a coefficient of six in front of the H2, two times six, that gives us 12 in this equation is balanced. Probably the thing to do with this one is leave the hydrogens to last. In general, that's a good strategy when balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for P4 plus H2 yields pH3. Thanks for watching.